All right, we got this question from Anne in Liberty. With all the sleet we got with the last storm, this was Monday, I wondered how much the totals would be if it had been snow. For example, one inch of sleet equals how many inches of snow? Great question. Let's start with what is sleet? The, to begin with, because we, we do have to go over this a lot, and um, the sleet pings and freezing rain clings is the easiest way to think of it. Freezing rain will look just like rain <clears throat> until it hits the surface, it's freezing, and it freezes. Now the difference in terms of meteorology is the depth of the warm air. So basically, freezing rain means it's warm almost all the way down, and then at the very end, at the surface, or maybe say 10 feet above, it's cold enough that it freezes on contact. With sleet, it's warm aloft, so it melts from snow to rain, but then it has time to refreeze into the little pellets that you see as sleet. And of course, snow is cold all the way down. Fun little fact that's not on this graphic, a lot of rain we get in the summer starts as snow aloft. You would just never know it. Hmm. So when you look at it here, again, sleet, you visibly can you know, see it bouncing off the ground. You can hear it. Freezing rain looks like rain. It just forms a layer uh, on the ground. OK, so let's get to the question, which I do not have a fancy graphic for that involves a tractor trail in a car. Um, basically, sleet takes a lot more moisture to form. So when you talk about snow, the standby ratio is 1 inch of rain equals 10 inches of snow. It varies based on temperature. It can get as high as 40 inches of snow for 1 inch of rain out west, not common around here, or it can get as low as 5 inches of snow for one inch of rain. Now for sleet, you're really looking at a ratio more like four to one. So that means if you get one inch of sleet, you get two and a half to three inches of snow. Mm. Gotcha. So bringing gotcha. this full circle to Monday storm, when we had some reports of four and five inches of sleet, it would conceivably be 10 or more inches of snow. And this is what makes forecasting it difficult because I actually had a five to eight inch zone of snow in okay. there that didn't verify and the reason was it was sleet mm -hmm. and so huh. it, it compacted it so much that you just weren't going to get those kind of totals sure. uh, out of it so I, I hopefully was not expecting that, that number yeah i followed like you until you skipped the cross multiplying and i was like wait a minute did he do his math right now? yeah like, course, i did i did the did. cross yeah. 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 i know um, i should have made I a get, graphic no no it's fine i get i get it um but that is fascinating that's why it's hard to get four or five inches of sleet because it's actually quite a bit of moisture. Yeah. And the temperature profile has to hold in the right spot over and over again. So when you get five inches of sleet, it's pretty remarkable. It's, it's pretty rare and it's pretty awful. Um, <laughs> this next storm, luckily, will not be that way.